Yo, what's happening people? Tony Sarte representing Ron Muscle and we are back for part three, Gain Like a Boss. Hit it. I usually like to do uh, close grip chin ups. It's a really good exercise to get all your blood into your arm. It helps you to warm up your back, your shoulders. Really good exercise for seven reps. I usually like to challenge myself to hold it for a couple of seconds and then I get to the top. So I'm still warming up. We're gonna do normal chin ups. This exercise is really great. This really intense. of helps you to warm up your biceps really well. So I'm moving on to one arm curls for three to six reps. On this day I was feeling really energetic, I don't know why, but it's again just staying in a low way, it's just to warm up your biceps, get all the blood into it, and also don't forget to stretch. Then moving on to my favourite machine, the CP Machine Curls, which is really really great to build those big biceps, really intense, it really helps you to actually focus and go really heavy on that machine, in my case. So moving on to white grip barbell curls, which is a great exercise to build the outer bicep, which usually builds the outer head of your biceps that you usually never see. So in my case, I'm using 30 kilo barbells. Um, you should obviously start low and then build yourself up to a comfortable weight. Now moving on to the normal barbell curls. So when doing this exercise, I usually put my foot forward which helps me to balance and also to keep my back straight and never move your elbows just keep keep your elbows tucked in so I'm moving on to hammer curls this is my technique of the hammer curls I usually slide them along my chest which put like it's pretty much the same thing as a normal hammer curl but this is my technique of doing it and holding it when I get to the top which squeeze the bicep a bit more so as you guys know this is probably the most classic exercise on training your biceps which is the curls really great exercise to build the head of course and in this case my way of doing it is doing them a uh, twisting them a bit more when you get to the top which you twist your wrist as you can see right there and holding it this is one of my really intense exercises which really will build your head so to finish off biceps what I like to usually do is go on the cable machine and just finish off with a bar just the absolute push your bicep to the limit so last exercise which is the cable curls to really well squeeze your head and your outer biceps to the absolute limit. So guys it's time to train triceps, the horseshoe. Again just starting off with seated dips to get your blood in and then moving on to roll push down for 6 to 10 reps. So hold up, I usually start low weight and then I build myself up to the top. So what I like to do in between my sets is again doing seated dips of 25 kilos. It really push more blood into your triceps and get you a better pump from that. So the next workout is bar push downs. Some people do these wrong. They go all the way up, which is which is right. But you should always stop halfway through and squeeze it when you get down to the bottom. Like really squeeze it and get your arms straight. So I'm moving on to one arm push downs just to finish off working that tricep pushing more blood to, into it, getting a better pump out of that exercise. Time to build that horseshoe with kickbacks. So as you can see, I'm doing them standing. There's loads of ways I'm doing them. This is my way of doing them. So, part three done. Part four coming out in the next couple of weeks. And don't forget, go try this workout yourself. Next time you go to the gym, training arms. And as always, I hope you like this video, make sure you subscribe, comment, rate, share the video and don't forget, exceed all expectations of course and do me guys a favour, go like my Facebook page over at Facebook, facebook.com slash muscle or just click right here, the thumbs up there would help me and yeah, peace.